All right, today we're gonna be working on uh, Big Red here. Ford F-350, four-wheel drive diesel. Uh, pulling apart the uh, front hub assembly as well as the brakes, ball joints, uh, pulling the axle shafts, changing a bunch of seals, so on and so forth. So I already took this side apart. Let's, uh, let's take the other side apart. First thing you wanna do is pull the hub out. That basically has just uh, this clip right here. You squeeze, pops right out, hub slides right out. These were uh, seized up, we're spinning the axles. So I'm going to be replacing these and some other stuff. Next, there's supposed to be this retention clip and three thrust washers in there. Now mine did not have these in there, so problem number one. All right, let's go ahead and pull the tire. 13 16 will do it. Okay, now we get the tire out of the way. Next item is going to be to pull the brakes, which easiest thing to do because they're so heavy. Let's go ahead and pull the caliper off, then the caliper bracket. 11 sixteenths for the caliper. Two bolts. Should more or less slide off. You might need to coerce it. Nothing a big yellow bar can't take care of. Okay, you want to either tie this up or in this truck it conveniently will rest on the leaf spring there. So you don't want to drop it and break the line. Okay, next item, the bracket. Back to a 13 sixteenths. And can't get the impact on there. And use the breaker bar. You can pull the pads out now as well. These actually aren't bad. Interestingly enough though, the other side, the little clips were not in properly, nor did it have the things. So who knows what the last guy did. We're gonna try to fix it. And since I'm lazy and have air tools, I'll switch right over to this guy. Oop. And voila, 
one more part down. It'll be a lot of bolts, so keep them together. At this point, your rotor should want to come off. All right, so this rotor has been much less cooperative than the last one. So we're gonna try a uh, little extra heavy guns here. Okay, got it. Took some uh, serious pounding there. But, we got it. All right. Ooh. It's heavy. Heavy son of a gun. All right. Next item. We're gonna be pulling the entire hub assembly off. So, we need to disconnect this, which is the ABS sensor, which actually comes with the replacement hub assembly all the way to this plug right here okay then oh, actually at this phase in the game you want to change the tie rod, excuse me, you want to pull the tie rod off <clears throat> so that you can turn the knuckle freely. So, remove cotter pin, throw a, look at that, first try, 13 sixteenths. Right off. Then see how much this guy wants to cooperate to come off. Now I find that if you screw the nut back on right to the end of it, give it a couple little taps. If it doesn't go easy, don't go crazy. If you're lucky. There it is. Just needed a little bit of love. Check your threads. All right. She seems okay. removed so now we can get to these ones these hub bolts are there's four of them pretty straightforward right behind it there Turn it all the way this way. Okay. Everything's disconnected, and there it is. Oh, 
One little bolt here. Eight millimeter. All right, here is your hub assembly. The shield looks good. Now we are replacing this hub assembly, even though I don't know that it's necessary, but the other side was really bad. And just bought the truck, so we want everything to be new. Okay. This one is in far better shape than the other. Far better shape. However, there was no thrust washer on the back side, no thrust washers on the front side. So somebody took this thing apart and played with it. And for some reason, didn't put that back together again. So now this next seal, this uh, inner knuckle seal, I guess they call it, it was kind of a pain on the other one. It seemed to have an easier time last time putting it in and twisting it like so and just finagling it on out of there. This one also in much better shape than the other side. But when in doubt, change it out. Trash pile. So now this guy also supposed to just slide right on out. But like the other side, seems to want a little help as well. She's a beaut. She is a beaut. And these U-joints are not feeling all that bad. Good news, because I might not change them. They're greasable and they feel good. And that's a whole lot of money you don't have to spend. So on my other side, this surface right here is what the needle bearings run on. So when this thing is unlocked in two-wheel drive, it's constantly spinning on there. Those little needle bearings wear out. Just cut some grooves in there and you got a $200 part to buy. So, thank God this side looks good. It's kind of like winning the lottery. All right, this is for the vacuum hubs, which as you can see, mine wasn't connected at all. And the hose, I don't know if you can see that or not, it is just toast. So I'm just gonna pull it off, get it out the way, and cross that bridge when I get there. Now, let's pop the uh, hub knuckle off so we can do the ball joints, which really don't feel that bad, but we're in here, let's do it. I can do those U joints pretty quick later if I have to, but ball joints is a lot more of a effort. Pop out the cotter pin. Try to pop out the cotter pin. out the back way because that's what it wants to do so good idea to replace that seeing as how it's just a mangled piece of metal now 
All right. Got a lot of oil over here. Something in the engine leaking. Another day, another video. Top one. It's one and an eighth. Double that up. If you can, there it is. Well, that was strangely easy compared to everything else. Now the trick here is just loosen this guy all the way to the top because it's going to take some pounding and beating to get this thing off of here and it'll drop, hit your foot, make a bunch of noise if you don't do this. Okay, so the bottom bolt for the knuckle is bigger than one and an eighth. I was able to use a uh, crescent wrench and a pipe wrench on it to break it free. Since we are replacing them, doesn't matter if I damage the threads. There it is. And there you go. So, next video we'll start uh, getting the parts together and uh, reassembling.